Okay, the purpose of this video is to walk you step by step through creating your first Oracle form using the data block wizard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the standard uh, training tables department and employee and let me bring up uh, SQL plus here to show you that what I want to do is I want to create a a form that maintains the depth table, maintains a department table. And you can see here in SQL Plus, depart, there, the table has two columns, depth no and depth name. And what I want to do is I want to create a simple form that's used to maintain this table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in Oracle Forms Builder, and I'm going to say File, New, Form. Okay, and so now I'm creating a form. Now you notice it creates a form here in the object navigator and, and it always gives you names you don't really want to use. So the first, it, it called it module four. Well, I don't want it called module four. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to call it department maintenance. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain departments. Now, the next thing I want to do or the first thing I want to do is I want to create a data block and I'm going to use the data block wizard. So I'm going to click down here on data block and then I'm going to right click and bring up the data block wizard. Now one of the things that's really great about Oracle is it, it, use, it has wizards to do a lot of things for you that you need to do and in this case it's going to let us connect to the database and we're going to create a data block based on that table, the depth table. So first thing I want to do is it brings up the welcome to the data block wizard screen and I'm just going to click on next and now I have two choices here I can create my data block from a table or a view or from a stored procedure and in this case I want to create a data block that creates to the that connects to the depth table so I'm going to select table or view and then I'm going to click next now in this point at this point what I would need to do is I need to enter the table that I want to connect to the block. Now in Oracle, data blocks are usually collect connected to tables. And when you do that, there's a bunch of, um, there's a whole lot of uh, functionality that is automatically created by connecting a data block and Oracle forms to a database table. So what I want to do is click browse and it brings up uh, my two tables, depth and empt, and I want to create a I want to create a form for the to maintain the depth table. So I'll click on depth and select OK. And now what it does is it brings up the available columns. So it brings up all the columns that are in the depth table. And in this case, I want to put both of these columns on my screen. So I'm going to go over here and click the Move All Items to Target button. And so now depth no and depth name are going to be on my form. And I'll click the Next button. And so now it's going to ask me to create a name for the block. Now, what it normally defaults to is it defaults to the name. It defaults to the name of the block. But what I want to do is I want to have some sort of a naming convention. And what I like to do is I like to start all my data block names with B underscore. That way, when I'm looking through things in the object nav navigator, I just see that all my blocks begin with the letter B underscore. And that's just a personal preference. It's not something you need to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect Connect, click the next button and then what I want to do here is it says congratulations you have finished describing your data block so now I've got my data block created but what I want to do is after I create the data block I want to call the layout wizard in order to put the data block on the page so as soon as I click finish it creates this um, data block and then it brings up the welcome to the layout wizard and in the layout wizard I'm going to be able to take the fields that are now in my data block and put them on the screen so I'll click next and now what it's going to do is it's going to say where do you want to put it on the screen now I don't have any canvases created yet and canvases are uh, their containers that all the items that you display on your screen um, are located so since I don't have a canvas, I'm going to say new canvas and it's going to be a content canvas. Now if I already had a canvas and I wanted to put a second block on it, I would use those pull down menu to select the canvas that I wanted to attach it to. So I'm going to just say I'm going to create a new canvas and I'm going to click on next. And now I've got these columns again. These were the columns that were part of my layout wizard or they were part of my block. So depth no and depth name. Now I have a choice. I can um, display, if I wanted to, I could just put the, the name on the screen and maybe the department number is something that is created programmably behind the screen, behind the scenes. But in this case, I want to maintain everything myself. So I'm going to show both items, the depth no and the depth name, and then click the next button. And then one thing it does is it asks you how you want to describe the, pro it, it, it's the labels that go next to the field. So I've got depth no and depth name. Well, you know what? I want to spell it out. I want it to be 
department number and department name. So I'm going to click down here. Name. And I'm happy with the, the, the width of 95 and the height of 14 and the width of 344 and the height of 14. So what all I've done is I've changed the labels. And now I'm going to click the next button. Now, in this point, I have two choices. I can have a tabular or a form. Now, a form displays one record per one record on the screen, whereas the tabular allows you to um, display multiple records on the field and maintain multiple records simultaneously. And because I only have two columns, that's what I'm going to do in this case. So I'm going to click on tabular and I'm going to click next. And now it's going to automatically create a frame for me. Now I could remove this frame later, but I kind of like the way the frames look. So I'm going to say departments and I'm going to choose to display 12 records and I'm going to put it in the scroll bar. And let me click next and it says congratulations, you finished describing your layout frame. And now I can click finish. And now it has done a few things for me. It created this new canvas for me called Canvas 4. It's created this new frame which you see here called Frame 5 and it is put the department block in Canvas 4. Now again Canvas 4 is not what I want to call my canvas so I'm going to call it C. I'm going to go up here to change it. I'm going to call it Main. So I'm going to say my canvas is called C Main and my frame I'll just leave it as frame 5 or actually I, if I want to delete it I could just click here and hit the X and delete the frame but let me just leave that frame so what I've done now is you can see I have created a form that's got department number and department name and now what I want to do is let's see how this looks because now I've, uh, I've created it so I'm going to say program run form and it brings up my form now you'll see there's some things I needed to do, like I didn't rename the window. It's called Window 1. It's kind of come up in this ugly green. Uh, there's some things I can do to it. But what I have done at this point is I have created a, a working form. So I can go up and I can hit Enter Query <coughs> and then Execute Query. And I've already put three rows in this table. So I've got Departments 1, 2, and 3. I can go down arrow and I could say Department 4 is... Um, construction and hit save and you'll see um, what I've done is I've it's actually saved a record you'll see down here at the bottom transaction complete one record applied and save or I could go to this and I could actually delete a record I could hit remove record and then when I hit the save button it removes that record so what I've done is I've created a very basic form, but a very useful form. And in a lot of programming languages, you'd have to do a lot more work than this to get a working form that you can maintain one of your tables in your database. So there you go. That is your creating your first form using the data block wizard.